Welcome back, Phosphor.fans. fans. Earl at the logbook.com. I thought it'd just be nice to roll back the years a bit and revisit a few favorites on the Atari VCS. Most of you know me as an Odyssey 2 guy, and that's because I am an Odyssey 2 guy. But the the VCS holds a special place in my heart because I did eventually get one. Even after I had the Odyssey 2, and I forget exactly what the what the inciting incident, what the killer app was that I just had to have to finally get a 2600. But I can tell you that one of the first games that I did get for the 2600 was Kangaroo, which was a port of an arcade game that I was particularly fond of at the time, and I probably should also play the uh, the arcade game sometime in MAME in a different video. But there's a story behind this. There was a Safeway store. Um, I'm not going to say near where we lived, but it was one that my mother frequented <laughs> quite a bit. And... They had a Pac-Man machine forever, and they had a, oh, I should have waited for that apple to, to make its appearance and miss me, let it miss me. Well, I punched him, but I died. The... All of these games were right by the front door. They had Pac-Man, they had Kangaroo, and they had a Dig Dug machine, if I remember correctly. And I mentioned the games all being right by the front door because my... Oh. My mom would go and do her shopping and you know, leave me by this row of arcade games with a pocket full of quarters. And, uh, and off she would go to do her thing. Of course, in this day and age, you think about that setup and, you know, your mind automatically goes to nightmare scenarios like, you know, oh, right by the front door, anyone could have grabbed me and kidnapped me. Horrible things could have happened. But they didn't. Because I'm not going to claim that things like that didn't happen then. But <laughs> I have the privilege of them not having happened to me. So it was... Uh, It just wasn't a scenario that was envisioned at the time. Now, the arcade game on which this is based is... I gather it's not a lot of people's favorite. And... I'm doing so lousy at the home version of it. I think I may give it a try with keyboard controls instead of the joystick. The joystick isn't... <laughs> the joystick is the oldest thing on your screen other than the person holding it. So, let's give it a try with the keyboard controls. I just like to at least attempt playing with the original hardware. If not the original hardware, then at least the original controllers. 2600 emulation is at a place where I think it's safe to call it nearly perfect, unlike my playing. And so I really have no qualms about hooking up an Atari 2600 joystick and playing an emulator with it.
the home port does a serviceable job of bringing the arcade game home, which may not necessarily be good news to those who didn't think the arcade game was that good in the first place. I, I kind of beg to differ there. It's, uh, you know, maybe it's in the same category as fantasy and eyes in that, you know, memories of a specific time and place and situation attached to it uh, alter my perception a bit. Not enough for me to play it well. step there. <laughs> it's a bit more challenging than I expected. The one thing I notice has not appeared is the gorilla from the arcade game. And considering how badly I'm playing everything, that may be just as well. Oh, nice try, monkeys. Flickery little monkeys. Hindsight. It, uh, yeah, it's it's one of those games that I spent a lot of time with because my mother would go to this Safeway store a lot. Now, a lot closer to our home was a, I believe at the time it was a Kroger store. Although Kroger eventually left, they they left our area. There were no more Kroger stores in or around Fort Smith, Arkansas. And so, it is now, I think, a price cutter or something like that, and it was on North O. And that one had a, a slightly sketchier collection. They had a... Oh, nice. Nice dodge there. Nice job of dodging everything. store had Crazy Kong and Moon Cresta at various points, and I believe also they had a Phoenix machine, which that's another very old favorite of mine. I stink at it, but I like it. So there you have it, Kangaroo for the Atari VCS. One of the first games I got with the VCS, it was this and Jungle Hunt. I believe Pac-Man, I think this was at the point in the VCS's lifespan that the machine came with Pac-Man instead of combat. I still somehow wound up with a combat cartridge later. That had to be wild. After they did that switch, it's like, oh, well now you have to buy combat. And I'm sure a lot of people would look at combat and go, why would I want to pay money for that? But there you have it. 